We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. And we are marking up NLY stock. We are in a monthly time frame. Price action, last candle to the right-hand side. is a bearish red candle. Looks like it's coming from an area of support. We do have price action overall, higher highs. Price action overall, lower lows. Midpoint, also adding second level lows and adding third level lows. So let's zoom in price to see what's going on. So current price is sitting at 6.14. And if price work is way down further coming from that area, price is headed down to 5.86. And if price turns around and work is way back up, it's headed back up to the previous numbers of 6.67. So we can see prices in that midpoint of that area. So let's say this market is going to work its way back up. We can see that market is going to come from that overall first leg, second leg, overall third leg, and then push out of here. So that means this area here will identify as a W formation, and we'll see this third leg of that first, second, third push out of a W in this area, and also form a overall W formation and it will be looking for the break, the retest and for the market to come up further and it'll be coming from an overall double bottom and retest. If not, market can drop down further. If so, market is coming from that break of this area here. So market broke, came back to retest. So this area is identifying that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest and the market could drop down far further coming from a double top and a retest. So if you want to add this, a triple top in a retest. Walk it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, price action is a bearish red candle, so we can see that price is working its way down from that previous area. Does not is not showing that it's going to create some momentum and work its way up. Price action also coming from a pattern at that overall so we do have that break and retest so identified as the overall first overall second overall third and then market pushed down came back to retest with the second to last candle and now we got a big push of a double top and retest so market did break that midpoint of that area so let's tag that area to see did, are we seeing a break and retest and see that market's going to push down further or maybe it's going to be a reversal coming maybe maybe not we'll see Walking down to the daily time frame, price action. So we do know this price action is a bearish red candle, similar to a doji, but a weak candle compared to the second last candle. So third last candle, second last candle broke. Price action is a smaller candle, but see, we don't know if it's gonna work its way down further because price action can be losing momentum from the previous candle because this price action candle is definitely smaller than the second last candle that was formed. Walking to the four hour time frame. So in the four hour time frame, we have price action reading that as a doji. Okay, so price action is reading as a doji and second last candle is also a doji, but more of a cross, doji cross. So what's happening is that market spiked down with the second last candle and with the price action candle as well. So it's identifying two different things and which is versus identifying the price and second side by side, which is that consolidation. And also is identifying uh, two pushes down to that bottom of a dub double bottom. So we're gonna see if price action does have enough momentum for it to push down or it may be a reversal in this area for price to come back up. Walking down to a three minute time frame, same as well, all week candles with price, second, third, and fourth, the last candles in the market. So price action and second, third, last candle are doji crosses. So a doji's weak candles. Uh, so we got to wait for that market to do what it do. Now we're on a two hour time frame. Price, second, third, and fourth, the last candle 
is in that area of consolidation as well, but trying to form something. So fourth to last candle push down, second to last candle push up and price action pushed all the way down, created that longer leg with the third leg. We don't also have a long spike down with the price action and fourth to last candle can be enough support for reversal. If not, then price action will be coming from this area, which will be identified as what? The break, the full retest, and the market's pushing all the way down from a break and retest. Walking down to the 45 minute time frame, but overall still in consolidation with the past few time frames that we are in. So same as well. Now 45 minute time frame. If a price action candle do form after this, what you want to see is price a candle form above the price action wick to the downside or the price action uh, wick to the top side of the price action can do to push that market up or down in that direction. Walking down to a 30 minute time frame, same as well, very dominant with the price action can do being a doji with the long wick up to the top and long wick to the bottom. So markets in that consolidation, huge one. But on a 15 minute time frame, we charge is identifying as a huge doji also, we do have that price action body is below the previous body. Price action wick is below the previous. There's no wick on the other side, so market can't push that market down. But price action does have a long wick to that downside, so we don't know if that market, like I said before, is going to create that support. And if so, market is identifying that overall first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest, and then push up out of a double bottom and a retest or a triple bottom overall. So we got to see something engulf this price action and second last candle to the downside or maybe engulf this side here which will be making its way down to that zone area to fully break out but we do know we're in a huge consolidation five minute time frame bearish red candle long wick down to the top so we don't know if that areas of price areas for support or for that support so if it's support mark's going to come back for that reversal at least up to that midpoint and if not market push down further if so markets coming from a pattern at this high which will be identified for the first second third and market pushes down so that's a double top so it's a midpoint here so the only thing we're going to be looking for if that is coming from that area it may happen it may not unless it reaches this reaches the bottom of that zone we may be looking for a retest at that midpoint area that we created that midpoint line right through that price action walking to the three minute time frame so price action on a three minute time frame identifying the same candles back to back with the price and second to last candle being bearish red candle but two spikes down to the bottom market can still work its way down as a 50 50 chance why we do have price action side by side with the second to last candle so that's consolidation that's 50 percent but then price action wick is below the previous wick price action body is below the previous body which can still have a chance to push that market down but we definitely have to wait for that market to do what it do to see what that market's really going to happen but parse action also spiked down with the two wicks identifying a double bottom. Also head down to the one minute time frame. So one minute time frame is identifying uh, the break and retest. So market did break that SR line, came back to retest once. Oh, let's draw it out. Market broke, came back to retest once, twice, and see it's trying to come back for that third time. It'll create that double bottom formation maybe quadruple bottom as we walk down the time frame if it wasn't more time frames and walk down so the way you look at this is we already know we're in that zone that price action high low we have that midpoint but price action has a low area which would be here and there's a midpoint area here and this is where price sitting so if price breaks out of that we'll see market pushes up through that uh second level lows on the one minute time frame to work its way up to the midpoint if not we'll get that engulfment of price action and price action work its way down. To make it easier, you're looking for price action to engulf the second last candle or price action to engulf the third last candle to work its way up or down in those areas. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. NLY Stock.